everybody. I've got my camera turned around, but welcome. And I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. Hi. You just saw my outside. And I'm a little late because I don't have any internet in my house, you know, because I'm living in Belize. By the way, I'm not in Belize today. I'm back in my house. <laughs> back again, getting ready to go to California tomorrow. So anyway, I don't have any internet, so I have to do it a very, very special way, and it wouldn't let me do it today. So here I am. And today, what we're talking about is, last time, or a couple times ago, I talked about men know positivity, and you all really like that. So today, I want to talk about men know pause, the idea of pausing during this very, very special time. The reason that I like to say that is because I think most of us through most of our lives have been running around like crazy people and not taking much time to pause about anything and for some of you that has led to weight gain which is why i work with you but really what i find is that that's probably not the only thing that has happened since you stopped pausing right now the reason i say stop pausing is because the idea of pausing and gaining weight have a very important message because if you pause every single time you get ready to put something in your mouth, something is going to happen. And what that something is, is that you will ask yourself a very simple question. Am I hungry? How hungry am I? That's the pause. I don't believe a lot of us have been doing that and we're all, hi Diane, and we're all very, very concerned with why we're all gaining weight. And I understand that there's hormonal imbalance and there's a lot of things that are going on in the body. Thank you. But one of the things that we have total control over is our appetite and filling it. And this is the thing about appetite in menopause is that our appetite decreases over time. So at 20 years old, you could eat a lot more calories than you can eat now. Now, you can make that a bad thing or a good thing. But here's the deal. If you've been eating what you used to eat when you're 20, and you want to weigh what you weighed when you were 20, which a lot of you do, which is another topic of conversation, if you want to weigh what you weighed when you were 20 and eat the amount of food that you ate then, if you continue to eat that amount of food, you would have gained 30 pounds by this time, say around 50, eating exactly the same, which is what a lot of my clients say to me. I haven't changed anything. I'm doing the exact same thing I always did. I go, yeah, that's the problem. If you pause, you might start to notice that you're really not hungry or as hungry as you thought you were. Because listen, if your metabolism is decreasing, at the rate that scientists tell us that our rate is decreasing, whoops, I got a little low power mode, then that means that we shouldn't be as hungry. How do you know that? When you sit down to eat, you pause. And then you see how hungry you are and you fill up or you fuel up until you get to a very comfortable light number called, I call it a plus two. It's a whisper of hunger and it's a whisper of a whisper of hunger and a whisper of fullness. That's all it is. Now, menopause. That's not the only thing you want to do is pause right before you eat. I also think you want to pause before you open your mouth to speak too because this is what I see with a lot of my clients. A lot of us have been saying and opening our mouths way too fast and saying things that we haven't thought about. If somebody asks you to do something you really have to pause for a moment and ask yourself, do I or don't I? And here's the thing. No is a complete sentence. And I think menopause is a wonderful time to learn how to say that sentence. How do you know when to say no? It's a feeling inside of you that you will get. Just like a physical feeling of hunger and fullness you get emotional feelings inside your body too. Some people call it intuition, but all it really is is emotions, negative emotion and positive emotion. If somebody asks you to do something and you get some kind of negative emotion in your body, more than likely 
that is your most inner self saying, no, thank you, please say no. Most of us don't listen to that. We do what we think our minds tell us to do. Oh, you should do that. They won't like you anymore. It's not working. I'll tell you what, when you say yes, when you mean no, and you've been doing it for 20 or 30 years, it's another way to gain weight. <laughs> I hate to tell you that, but it's the truth. It's the truth about emotions and negative emotion. So if you're willing to pause and really ask yourself, do I want that? And if you get an emotional hit inside of you that says, no, thank you, you need to learn how to honor that too. That's what I think menopause is all about. It really is about pausing. Pausing before you eat, pausing before you speak, and pausing before you think. Because thoughts just run around in your head 24-7. Everything that you think does not necessarily mean it's true and does not necessarily mean you even have to believe it. So you've got to pause. You've got a lot of pausing to do. This is what I think. If you start making these pauses while your body is really starting to talk to you, because menopause, our bodies really start talking, and you start listening and you start obeying your body, you will find that the second half of your life may be a whole lot better than your first half. And that's why you go from menopause to menopositivity. That's what I have to say today here in sunny St. Louis, gorgeous day. And I'm traveling to California tomorrow. And I'm going to be back in Belize next Monday when I see you again. So I want you to have a really, really beautiful week. And more than anything else, I want you to learn how to do this pause. And I want you to make menopause a beautiful, wonderful transition to the rest of your life. So from St. Louis... I say, bye-bye.